Hi, so we're here now for our English Quarter 1, Module 2. Again, this is Mom Rovi, your English teacher. Our lesson is identifying genre, purpose, and features of various viewed text. These are the news flash or weather report, internet-based program, movie trailer, and documentary. This module provides varied activities that will help you learn about various viewed texts. It will also familiarize you with other modes of learning through the use of viewing materials. So at the end of this module, you are expected to First, identify the genre of the material viewed. Second, determine the features and purpose of various viewed texts. And, organize information from a material viewed. So before we start, I need you to prepare your pen and long pad paper because you're going to have a pre-assessment test for this lesson. And this is our pre-assessment test. Directions, write T if the statement is correct and F if it is not. Write your answer on the blank provided before each number. But since um, you need to answer your pre-assessment test on long pad paper, you just have to write T or F as your answer. No need to copy the question or the statement. Just write your answer. So you may start now. For number one, viewed text can be in forms of pictures and video clips. Number two, various viewed texts have similar purposes. Number three, a documentary can also be made for entertainment purposes. Number four, a documentary is fictional. Number five, internet-based programs can be used as means of learning. Number six, viewed texts have different genres. Number seven, contents of a news flash are factual. Number eight, information in a news flash can be untimely. Number nine, a movie trailer gives an overview of a particular film. Number ten, Internet-based programs are never informative. Number 11, Internet-based programs are always accessible. Number 12, The features of a viewed text depend on its genre. Number 13, A documentary is research-based. Number 14, News flash often interrupts other programs. And number 15, Contents of a news flash are straightforward. Again, you just need to write T if the statement is correct and F if it is not. So when you're done, we will check your pre-assessment test. Okay, time's up. Let's check your work. So these are the answers. For number one, it is T or true. Number two, F. Number three, T. Number 4, F. Number 5, 6 and 7, it's T. Number 8, it's F. Number 9, T. Number 10, F. And number 11 to 15, it's a T. Okay, so you need to self-check your work and write your scores in the upper right corner of your paper. Next, we have what's in. Before identifying the genre of various viewed text, you have to learn first how to give meaning on a viewing material through the use of pictures. When viewing pictures, look closely at the details and give ideas that can be associated with them. 
Then, try to make meanings and figure out the message that the picture wants to convey. So, we have here pictures. You need to take a look at this picture, then answer the question that follow. So, you just have to write the, le the letter of the correct answer. For number one, we have the following are the names of place, places shown above, except A. Biak na Bato, B. Barasawin Church, C. Mount Samat, or D. Corregidor. For number two, where can you see these places? A. Region 1, B. Region 2, C. Region 3, or D. Region 4. For number three question, which of the following best describes a landmark? A. A historical place that is significant in a town. B. A place that has a cultural value. C. A place that provides leisure and amusement. Or D. A landscape that is easily recognized, often used for navigation. Again, you just need to write the letter of the correct answer on your long pad paper. Okay, so next items. Number four, which among the following is not an example of a landmark? A. Mount Pinatubo B. Nayong Pilipino C. Luneta Park or D. Subic Bay Freeport For number five, why should you be familiar with these places? A. They promote the beauty of our cultural heritage B. They are known for places. C. Many people visit them. Or D. They are part of our environment. Again, you just need to write the letter of the correct answer. Okay, so time's up. Let's check your work. Okay, so the answer for number one is letter D. It's Corregidor because the first picture is it is um in Mount Samat. Second picture, Biak na Bato. And last picture is the Barasawin Church. Where can you see these places? It's letter C. It's in Region 3 because Mount Samat is located in Bataan. Biak na Bato is in Bulacan. As well as the Barasawin Church, it is also located in Bulacan. Number 3. It's letter D. Yes, because landscape is easily recognized and it is often used as for navigation. For us to easily know where we are. Okay, next, number four, which among the following is not an example of a landmark? The answer is letter A, it's Mount Pinatubo. Because when we say landmark, it is um, made by human. And number five, the answer is A, they promote the beauty of our cultural heritage. Okay, so... Having seen the pictures, you have learned how to make meanings just by looking at the illustrations. These pictures present the local landmarks that are popular with many people and how they contribute to deepening our cultural heritage. Certainly, you have to create ideas and develop critical thinking when viewing a material. To unlock the meaning that it wants to convey in learning text in English, there are over or there are other viewing genres that you need to know so the viewing genres or the viewed text that you need to know is our lesson so it is here what is it so the first um, viewing material or vi or um, viewed text that we will discuss is a news flash or the weather report 
It is a single item of important news that is aired separately and often interrupts other programs. It is informative, relevant, and timely. Again, take note of that. It is informative, relevant, and timely. It is timely because it is happening in the same date that the news flash and weather report are aired. Okay? And it is informative, of course, because it is a current event. And it is relevant because this is what we need to know. It is a news. It is about our weather uh, forecast or weather condition. So, if you want to check out the example of a weather report, you just need to type in the link here, https www.youtube.com slash watch v equals kmpv o zero k q c l a you just need to type in this in your browser for you to um, watch the example of a news flash or a weather report but i know that you are familiar with this if you are watching um, news in your television okay so next we have the internet based program this program is informative and can be accessed through the website for example if you want to look for the meaning of an unfamiliar word you can look for its meaning by surfing the google there are also other internet based programs that can be more convenient for you so it's up to you on what is the browser that you are using okay so we have google or internet explorer others have mozilla firefox so those are example of internet based program it is a search engine wherein you can view you can watch um, program or you can search um, other articles or other reading materials in or through an internet okay so next we have a movie trailer is another viewing genre it is a short clip for a film which consists of a series of selected shots that present an overview of the film being advertised it is relatively sh relatively short since it only includes limited details of a film yes um, when we say movie trailer in Tagalog, ito yung patikim. Patikim sa palabas. So, it is just a short clip from the film itself. So, it will serve as a um, clue on what will happen or what is the th theme of the movie. Okay, so if you want to um, look for an example of a movie trailer, you can watch the Kessons Game official trailer heel here by just um, type in the link here in your YouTube okay so lastly we have documentary this is a research-based reporting that deals with a specific topic and format although it tries to capture reality and usually depicts factual events for educational purposes it is sometimes intended for entertainment so when we say documentary this is a factual which means this is really happening in reality and it is a research based wherein it has basis so if you are going to um, do or make a documentary film it should be a research based and also it is not just intended for educational purposes, but also it's for entertainment. An example of this is the very popular KMJS, Kapuso Mo Jessica Soho, yes. That is a documentary film or documentary program wherein um, it shows a real life experience of um, real person or it happened in a real place and real time. So you may check the example of other documentary in this link. 
watch um, From Within, a documentary about the Philippine street culture community. Just type in the link here in your YouTube. So that's it. We have discussed the four types of variviewed, various viewed text. So we have here an activity. Again, uh, use the long pad paper that you are using or that you have used in your pre-assessment test and other um, other pre-activity that you have done before. So you just need to write independent assessment one. For picture analysis, just write whether it is documentary, news flash, or weather report, short, uh, no, movie trailer, and um, internet-based program by um, ref by looking at the pictures here, you can easily identify what's the genre that are um, presented in the following pictures. So for number one, we have this picture, eyewitness. For number two, breaking news alert. Just write the word or the genre. Okay, next, for number three, we have that picture, www. Then for number four, we have um, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and temperature. And for the last picture, we have two actors here. It's the least can... Um, Couple. So, what do you think is that? What viewed text is that? Okay, so time's up. Let's check your work. Okay, so for number one, we have documentary because Eyewitness is a documentary program or it shows documentary film. For number two, it is news flash. That's why we have words in the picture. Breaking news alert because it is a news flash. Next, it's internet-based program number three. Since we have the www dot, um, the search engine will follow. Number four, weather report. Okay, that's why we have Aku weather, seven-day forecast in that picture. And lastly, we have the movie trailer. So that's the answer for number five. Movie trailer of the movie alone together by Lee Ken. Okay, again, count the number of your correct um, answer, then write your score on the upper right corner of your paper. Next activity we have, concept map. So directions, fill in the appropriate word for each column. Select from the pool of words inside the box. Okay, so you may start answering now. Just write the words from the box above. Write the words in the table below. If it is in news flash, documentary, internet base, weather, weather report, or in movie trailer. The words in the box are current events, forecast, timely, URL, Temperature, Overview, Bulletin, Climate, Research-Based, Short Clip, Instagram, Advertisement, Website, Non-Fictional, and Real-Time.
Okay, so time's up. Let's check your work. Okay, so for news flash, we have current events, timely, real time. Of course, when we say news flash, it should be happened in current events. It is timely and happened in real time. In documentary, we have research based, bulletin, and non fictional. As I have mentioned before, everything that um, you will include in documentary film should be research based or it is in bulletin and it should be non fictional. When we say non fictional, this really happened in real life. Next, internet based URL. Instagram and website. We are all familiar with this term that it is included in internet, right? Next, weather report. We have forecast, temperature, and climate. These terms have something to do with our weather. And lastly, we have the movie trailer, overview, short clip, and advertisement. Since it is a movie, movie trailer also serve as advertisement for the audience to watch the movie and overview or short clip of the movie itself so count the number of the correct answer and write your score on the upper right corner of your paper and again let's have another activity so quotable quotes direction Familiar lines can be perceived open times, and these lines are taken from some viewed materials. Identify the genre of the commonly perceived lines by writing the letter on the space provided. But since um, you should not answer your module on your module, um, just write the letter of the correct answer on your long pad paper. So we have choices here. A. Um, Internet-based. B. Documentary. C. News Flash D. Weather Report And lastly, E. For Movie Trailer So you just have to write the letter of your correct answer for each familiar lines For number 1, we have Hey Google Number 2, Ito Ang Eyewitness Number 3, Directed By Number 4, Skip Ads Number 5, Servisyong Totoo Lamang. Number 6, We'll be back with more news update. Number 7, Central Luzon will be partly cloudy. Number 8, In cinemas nationwide. Number 9, With isolated thunderstorm. Number 10, Kapapasok lang pong balita. So again, you just need to write the letter of the correct answer on your long pad paper Okay, so time's up. Let's check your work. For number one, for Hey Google, it is A, internet-based. Number two, it's letter B, documentary. Number three, it's letter E, movie trailer. Number four, it's A, internet-based. Number five, it's C, news flash. Number six again, it's C, news flash. Number seven, it's letter D, weather report. Number 8, it's E, movie trailer. Number 9, it's letter D, weather report. And lastly, it's number it's uh, it's letter C for number 10, 
news flash. So again, count the number of your correct answer, then write your score on the upper right corner of your paper. So again, we have an activity for assessment. So direction, read each, read each statement carefully. Identify whether the statement is under news flash, NW, documentary, D, movie trailer, MT, or internet-based program, I, by putting a check in the appropriate column. But since you don't have uh, or you don't allow to um, answer on your module, just um, write N, W, D, M, T, and I as your answers. So for number one, we have relatively short because it only presents selected shots from a film so what is that is it nw d mt or i just write it on your long pad paper number two viewing genre that is research based number three program that interrupts other programs four Genre that is also made for entertainment purpose. 5. Material that can be accessed through a website. Number 6. Presents an update on climate conditions. 7. Tries to capture reality by presenting real-life events and experiences. Number 8. Provides limited details of a particular film. Next, number 9, program that is aired separately. 10, short clip that provides an overview of a film. 11, use thorough research on a particular subject to present real-life events. Number 12, a program that presents factual information about a particular person or events. Number 13, an important piece of news that is delivered quickly. 14. A form of advertisement for a feature film. And lastly, number 15. Programs that can be watched online. Let's go back to the previous slide. And for 9 to 15 items again.
Okay, so time's up. Let's check your work. For number one, it is empty or movie trailer. Number two, documentary or D. Number three, NW. Number four, D. Number five, I. Number six, NW. Seven, D. Number eight, MT. Number nine, D. Number ten, MT. Eleven, D. Number twelve, D. Number thirteen, NW. Fourteen, MT. And last number, fifteen, it's I. So again, count the number of your correct answer, then write your score on the upper right corner of your paper. So for the last activity, what I have learned. So you need to pause, think, and write. Complete the statements below to put into words what you have learned regarding the different viewing materials. So this time, you may answer this during your free time. So you can take a um, screenshot of this um, slide. So in this um, activity, you just need to complete the statements below. It is based on what you have learned in our lesson. So first statement we have, I think that viewing materials are, so you need to enumerate the viewing materials that we have discussed. And next, I have learned that a documentary is, so you need to define documentary and how, um, how can you define it in your own words. Next, I think internet-based programs are, so you need to give examples of internet-based programs. Next, a news flash is useful because, so how useful is news flash to us? So state the reason. And lastly, the most interesting thing I have learned in this lesson is, so what uh, made you interest with, for example, what is your favorite um, viewed text? Or what can you say about our lesson now that you know the various um, viewed text? The news flash or weather report, internet-based programs, movie trailer, and documentary so you can answer this during your free time okay so that's it goodbye class but if you have any question you may send personal message to me or ask question in our group chats so i hope you learn in our lesson again goodbye class and god bless us all